Hello everybody, my name is not Benjamin, but just Ben, and welcome to the Stanley Parable. Now I've heard this is a really great game, and it's funny and mind-blowing and stuff like that, I'm sure you've heard of it. If not, hi, welcome to the Stanley Parable. Um, so, uh, yeah, I have not seen any gameplay or anything but the official Steam trailers because intentionally because I want to make this a completely new experience for me. Also I've been told that there are a crap ton of endings so this should be an original gameplay if you have seen another gameplay. So yeah. Also I love how um, like I see my FPS down here but I love how the monitor here copies your exact screen so much that it actually copies here and I can't hide that. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Oh, I'm in options right now. <laughs> anyway, here, playing Stanley Parable. So, let's get into the game, and I should probably start a timer so I know how long this episode is. Yeah! <laughs> so yeah. Alright, and we are loading the game. Woo. All right. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big Ah, uh, this is the he was employee number 4. Don't want to speak over this, but this is the official trailer. 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month. Sounds like my Friday nights. Yeah. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Oh my! No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. This is different never from in the all his years at the company had this preview now. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen, solid. Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from oh, his man. desk and stepped out of his office. I'm in control now. Now, I think this is a game where if I don't walk out of the office, the narrator will yell at me. Because I'm playing as Stanley, and reading the review, one of the comments was something like, um, now Stanley went and clicked the purchase button because he liked the game. Ahem. I said Stanley went and clicked the add to cart button to purchase the game. I believe you did not hear me properly. Stanley clicked the purchase button. So something like that. So I'm just going to stand here and wait for a response. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to do something. Or I might look around and like try to mess with stuff. Oh, oh. It's weird, when I click over here on the papers, it makes a keyboard sound. Unless, is that just an ambient sound, maybe? Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. Ah! He had to make a decision. What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? I told you! He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone clock? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing ah, was for sure, beyond any doubt, 
was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, I was expecting the clock to fast forward when it said years soon, fast. Very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Oh. Oh, what happened? Oh, it's loading a new level. So it seems like just from... I think it, the door actually closed because I clicked it, not because... Not because of uh, timer. But it seems like this game... Like my friend said, really does have a crap ton of endings because... I just sat around and closed the door, and that did something. Most... <laughs> That's the thing that I think I'm going to absolutely love about this game, is that most games, you close the door and you can just open it up again and go back through. But in this game, closing a door might give you a completely different ending. I don't know, maybe that... Maybe I'm wrong. But anyway... Can I close it again? But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? Ah, uh, it's the same... His responsibility? He had never been trained for that. This couldn't go anywhere except back. Okay, I lied. I guess it doesn't give you a different Nothing ending. Or Nothing doesn't change anything, it's just an extra narration. Be happy so, I guess I'll I will be happy. skip this. Okay, there we go. So also, it's already been like five and a half minutes and I've just been in the same room. So I'm gonna actually go do stuff now. Also, this game I feel is going to be one of exploring. So I'm going to do... As much exploring as I can. Or not, because that'll probably be really boring. Especially clicking around on freaking file cabinets. Stanley oh. thought to himself, Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. Okay, then I want to go back. Don't mislead me. No, I want to go see if... The... So does it lock? For... That's not even how. <laughs> That's not even how it works. Because if it locks from the inside, then oh, I guess it would be because I lock it and then close it and then open. Okay. Still, why would it? Why would an office door lock from the inside? Well, this game isn't about making sense. Also, I live in the void. That's probably actually more important. See, now I feel like I'm expecting too much of the game. <laughs> it's probably actually important, though. Anyway. This computer's on. Oh. Never mind. Well. That. There goes my hope. <laughs> can I close this door? I cannot. Can I go back and open this door? <laughs> Like I say, I feel like I'm expecting too much of this game. I'm just trying to click on everything. Okay, nothing different with that, except for the fact that it's a two-way door. Nice. You know, why do no places actually have two-way doors? I mean, seriously, they have it in, like, restaurants for coming out with the food, but it's, it's, it's a really nice, I mean... It's just me. It's probably just me. I'm weird. Is it, do, do, I, do I turn this off too? Yes, I do. So I can turn stuff off, but I can't turn it on. Also, there are a lot of employees for this company. Up to so far, I've seen 457 over the- Ah, open door! Oop. Oh. Did I break it? I broke it. Oh well, I'm just gonna... Nope, wasn't me. Why are these file cabinets halfway open? So it's really weird. I click anywhere and... It's gonna start scaring me. One of these doors w Ooh. Ah, dang it! <laughs> But this one is like the others. I want to open it. When Stanley came oh. to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. <laughs> Stanley knew it perfectly well. 
perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Just to admire it, yes. It's a normal thing to admire employee lounges. One of these doors will open. Ah, yes, truly a room oh. worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley is simply stood here, drinking it all in. Okay. I'm done. This is actually a really nice lounge. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. <laughs> See, the narrator's trying to make it go his way, like, oh, he knew he was going to the lounge. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. <laughs> See, um, for the past, like, two years in school, Stanley sat even... Stanley waiting for more dialogue, but when a long yes, time I did, actually. and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. <laughs> ah, I love whenever movies or games or anything break the fourth wall. It's just... It's cool to me. Anyway, which is why I'm excited for the Deadpool movie. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, so... Uh, this is why I'm excited for the Deadpool movie to come out, even though I'm not actually supposed to be able to watch it, but I'll find a way to watch it at some point in time, because it's... This Deadpool is cool. Anyway, um... As I was saying, that's right. Um, for the past two or three years in school, even though I've changed schools, I've adjusted it. I've had a, um, I've always had a scapegoat to blame. Like, for example, in middle school, it was Kyle. I'm not gonna say last name. And this year, it's Chaz. It's just whenever anything goes wrong, I just go, God, God dang it, Kyle, or God dang it, Chaz. This just thing with me and my friends in school. Uh, in middle school, the whole band was in on it. Too bad for Kyle. Oh. Enough of the amazing room and took the first I'm gonna go back. Left to get back to business. I'm gonna go back. Can't go back. <laughs> so it told me to go into the door on the left. What's that? Stanley was so bad at following oh. directions, it's incredible he wasn't fine. <laughs> what is this? Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. I'm not lying. Uh, my name is in fact just Ben, not Benjamin, so I'm, I'm good. So I don't particularly like that though, I can't go back and make the quote right decision. But what is this? I have been pushing buttons and there are boxes to exist alongside? Oh. I thought I heard narration in the background. No, it's just my mom turning on the TV. <laughs> what is this place? Oh, I need. To... Wonder if I can actually get a key card and get in there. It's an oddly open space for only lining the wall. In a fall. But in his eagerness to oh, prove okay. that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. I love this game so far. <laughs> I love this game. Ah! What? I'm all the way back here. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided Ooh. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply Ooh. missed a memo. The end is never the end. Ooh. Can't turn it off though. <laughs> ah! This no time. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Hmm. All of them are now on. This says the end is never the end. Ah, that's. 
That's cool. Just got the chills. Oh! I feel like this is different. I don't remember these windows. Of course, maybe I'm just bad. I'm probably bad. Okay, that one's still off. Ooh, ooh! Waiting input. Ah. Uh. <gasps> oh. I can do stuff. Or only once. I wonder if that means if I die again and come back, I can add a second input received. One of these is gonna open sometime. Ooh. Oh, that was right, the phone. Ben. What? Thanks. I'm in the middle of recording. Jeez. That's incredible. <laughs> Sorry if I forget to edit that out. I probably will, because I'm bad. So... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Should I go to the right again, or should I go to the left? Or should I just... I'm gonna sit here. He's gonna say something about being indecisive. You know what? I'm gonna go and close the door. Can I not close them? Can I sit down? Oh, I want to sit down. Ah. Well, see, yeah, it's like incessantly white. You can't even see the building. Ah. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go to the right and die again, so I can maybe give another input. This was not the correct way to the waiting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Hmm. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire Is this repeating? It. I'm not sure if it's repeating. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh, this is exciting too. I think I'll actually do that. Okay. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, ah! and got back on track. That button looks in the same style of the portal. I mean, not that that means too much. Ah, oh, this is even by a different creator. Forgot about that. There's gotta be something. Okay, what did the narrator say? I don't care. I wanna push the button. Button. I like buttons. Did he say to do this? He's not commenting. Yeah, I want to do what he doesn't say to do. <laughs> it's only fun that way. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, from here it's, um, left. Hmm. This narrator is more than a narrator, isn't he? Because that door, that light just turned on. Because I was back in there, and it was off, but when he said left, it turned on. Hmm. In any case, uh, I know I haven't really done too much into the game yet, but I want to keep around 15 minute episodes, plus I need to stockpile because I'm going on vacation next week, so yeah. Anyway. So yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here, so thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, press the like button. If you didn't like it, press the like button. If you hated it with a burning passion that no one will ever be able to feel or understand, then press the like button and make sure you subscribe if you hated it that much. So, once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all you in the next video. Bye. There's a beat